Oh, y'all, I'm just getting in. Oh, I had to hurry up and get here and get y'all the bullying news for this week. Listen, remember last week when I told you them people really worked my nerves and I had to hurry up and go to Planet Fitness and work some things out, work that stress off, and then come home and work that stress off my mind and get a good night's sleep. And I woke up and went to work the next day with a whole different attitude. Listen, them people have changed toward me. Y'all believe that? They ain't trying to control me no more. I prayed about it and I talked to them and told them I, st I stood up to them when they start talking crazy to me again. Listen, don't talk to me that way. Don't talk to me that way. Either you go away or you talk to me with a better tone. Respect me if you want me to respect you. They was like, who is this? This is not the Stephanie we've been working with. She's been taking our mess and putting up with whatever we give her. Listen, y'all, I told y'all I was speaking up. I can't just, you can't just let people just talk to you and treat you any kind of way. If you don't speak up, they'll keep doing it. So listen, I was like, I have got to go in with a better attitude. So when I made that decision and did what I told you I did, went to Planet Fitness, worked some things out, got a good night's rest, went in with a whole different attitude. Look, they start treating me like the golden ticket. I am the golden ticket. This ticket holder realizes they are worth the investment. I had to realize who I was. I had to think about what I wanted. I didn't want to be bullied. I didn't want to be talked too crazy. I didn't want to be talked down to. So y'all, I had to let them know. If you don't let people know, ooh, we, they going to keep running over you and controlling you because you're allowing it. I allowed it for years. No more. I'm done. I quit. Nope. Not today. Y'all take care. I got some bullying news for next week. Y'all stay tuned.